Now, the more contagious strain of COVID has been confirmed in a long-term care facility in Urbandale. Urbandale Healthcare Center has confirmed with Local 5 uh, the B117 variant had been detected in their facility. They were informed by the state health department, though the state website currently says there are 18 active cases there still. A spokesperson tells us there are no longer any active cases. Now, tonight we want to share how the virus continues to impact the lives of everyone involved, from people who live in the facilities and their families to staff members who work there. And we don't want to mention uh, the family member we interviewed today. Her name has been changed for privacy to Amanda. They need hugs. They need to be loved and they're not getting it. No hugs, no family visits. Older Iowans who live in long term care facilities with outbreaks are living in a purgatory that many have escaped after the vaccine came out. Right now, are you able to visit your loved one? No, I'm not. Other than through the window. Amanda's relative lives at Urbandale Healthcare Center and contacted me after our story two weeks ago, echoing the same concerns that Jenna had over her loved one who lives there. She's lonely. She's getting dementia, and I think it's gotten worse. Both Jenna and Amanda had concerns that the staff at Urbandale Healthcare Center weren't getting vaccinated. The management company for the facility let me know that 44% of staff members had taken the vaccine. That's actually higher than the national vaccination rate of skilled care workers, which is 37.5. And we all know you can still get COVID even if you're fully vaccinated. In fact, some of the people who got COVID during that recent outbreak at Urbandale had been fully vaccinated. But a state legislator wants us to know there are a few other things we could all consider when examining any long term care facility outbreak even now. You have a lot of facilities with part time staffs moving between institutions, working at other jobs. And state Senator Sarah Trone Garriott says many skilled care workers don't get paid a lot for their long hours of caring for the elderly. Trone Garriott used to serve on a board of a long term care facility and said many staff members have second jobs. Those folks are going all over the community to serve in different institutions. There's not a lot you can do to keep it from coming into that long term care facility. Um, and they have really worked really hard. They have struggled to put together the pieces to keep their communities as safe as possible. A spokesperson for Urbandale tells me despite zero cases confirmed currently, visits still haven't resumed. Meanwhile, that leaves Amanda scared for her loved one with dementia. She wants to go home. But there's not a home anymore. Well, Jenna, the woman we interviewed two weeks ago told us that after our story aired, the facility reached out to her and granted an exception to let her visit her loved one. Amanda says she is considering asking for a compassionate care visit to see her loved one as well.